Step one, enter diagnostics mode. These two front buttons here, and then try. It. Once you're in the diagnostics, you can cycle the screens with this button. And the ones that really matter is the brew group. You can go to the home position. Or the work position, which is how you would brew. After that, you can run the pump. You can run EV1 mode, which sends the water here. Or if you leave EV1 off, then it sends the water through the brew group into the espresso. Run the water. Here's where the pump lives. On the side, I took the side cover off already. And my problem is that I don't have enough. I can't get water to run through here. So let's show that we do have water. There's definitely water. To remove the top unit or remove the screws. So there's a screw in here. You can remove this piece. There's one, two, three screws over here. You can remove this piece. Then this piece lifts off. And you can remove one, two, and the water container to get the and the water base to get the last two off. Down here. This takes the side door off. Make sure your unit's unplugged before you go messing with the pump. The power connector for the pump is right in here. And the pump itself comes up if you pull up in here. And the bottom of the hose pops off. And the bottom bracket here pops off. The new pump looks like 25 bucks off Amazon. Break away the hot glue with pliers. The remote switch comes out. Transfer to the new pump. the new pump back on make sure you slip the sleeve in first the damper sleeve pump installed, go back in the diagnostics menu, make sure you have the brew group in the work mode position, then test with AV1, and the water, do this up here, yay, it works. There's no leaks here under pressure. And it looks pretty dry. We're done. What 
T size is this? It doesn't say how. T10. Okay, I'm putting this corner screw on for the side plate and put the coffee tray back in. Install this thing. This knob here lines up with the, the long leg on it, lines up with a little hole here, I think. <laughs> 